back to my channel. I hope you guys all had a happy Thanksgiving, amazing time with family and friends. So I'm here today just to talk to you a little bit about how I stay organized in med school. In a previous video, I talked about how I handle stress and this is a way that I stay organized and it's called dot, well I refer to it as dot journaling, more famously known as bullet journaling. And I have and it's right here so this is um, my whole life in this little thing and I've been bullet journaling ever since I started med school so I really believe in um, this method of organization. It has definitely worked for me, and so I wanted to share with you how I bullet journal, how I set everything up. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. So the thing that I love most about bullet journaling is that this blank notebook can be anything you want it to be. So first and second year, I really need an organizer that um, like was a checklist because first and second year of med school is very um, task oriented and so I know I needed to do this assignment and this assignment and so I wrote down each task and I just checked them off along the way and you guys saw that when I was doing um, my dermatology rotation and I told you I had to do all those modules so um, in them you can see each day I wrote down and then each task and I just checked them off as I went along the th cool thing about dot journaling is that um, even say like Saturday and Sunday I don't do anything or say one day I didn't do anything it's fine I don't have to write that day into my journal and then I can just skip like this Christmas or this um, like say you go off for Christmas break if you had a regular planner you would still have like that week in your in your planner that you might not use at all for me if I don't have anything to do that day then I just won't write anything down and then third year of was when of med school is when you start going out to clinical rotations and what's awesome about this is that it's really small and it fits right into my white coat pocket and it's good because preceptors would always ask you um, look up this or what do you think this is and it's it's nice for them to see you actually write it down and the next day when they ask you you can pull out your notebook and it's awesome because it's also really good because I always have it in my white coat pocket so if they, I ever forget anything I could reference um, what my notes from say the day before or the week before or even the rotation before and what I've done is um, so see these are some of my dermatology notes and then I would highlight specific topics that he would so just so it's easier to find like when the time does come and he asked me about I don't know something you know <laughs> and so you just always have it on hand Fourth year, um, I needed a planner that is less task oriented and more of planning for the future because during third and fourth year, I needed to set up rotations, I needed um, to go on interviews and just plan flights and vacations. So I needed a whole year spread in advance. Um, that was so this is something that was really new to me because I've never done that before um, and so this is something that you can easily buy in a planner I just felt like the system worked so well for me that I wanted to add it to my bullet journal so what I did was I wrote down months and just followed my the format on my phone and wrote out a calendar and on I would have different color highlighters or different color pens and I would strike out the days that I would have certain rotations or circle days that I have certain events and I found that that worked so well for me and I was so happy by the way that it turned out. Um, you can get a bigger notebook if that's something you chose or it's something that 
um, it's more fitting for you. I personally like this smaller version just because it fits into my white coat. And then more general things that consist of every bullet journal. So the dot here, or AKA bullet, is for you to write down ideas or thoughts that you might have throughout the day. And then each task is designated with a box. Once the box is checked, that means the task is done. The strike means that I no longer need to do the task. And an arrow just means that I moved the task to a more current date, so I don't forget about it. The asterisk means that the task is important. And then the open circle means that it's an event. And then there's also the monthly spread. And the monthly spread, you would have, say, each month, and on the side, you would have the days, and next to the days, you would have um, the day of the week. This is good just to see an overview of each month, and on the bottom side, you can see uh, the tasks that you would have to do that month. It's good just to put in appointments that I have, certain trips that I had, birthdays, and then what I also love that on the side, every time I worked out, I would put a little dot just to track my record. Obviously, I haven't been working out that much. Don't judge me. It's winter time, you know. And lastly, but most importantly, is your index. Just remember to number your pages as you go. This allows you to easily look up the things that you've written down. I'll link the original bullet journal video in my description box. And what I love about this is that it's everything I needed to be and nothing that it's not. And I feel like the rest of these pages can be filled with anything and it, bec it can become anything that I need it to be. Um, this time I bought a soft covered um, journal and I don't know if I like it as much just because it's harder to write on when I'm standing and preceptors ask me a question. It's harder for me to write down and it be steady. All my old ones are, are hardcover. Um, I ended up just getting this one because I love the color of it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't regret it at all. I just, um, and then the type that I usually get is also the ones with um, graph paper. These, this is all dots, but my previous one is um, literally graph paper. So, and it has a little pocket in the side. I usually put, this is my ACLS card and um, Usually I have stamps in here. So yeah, it's it's just everything I need it to be. So if you have any other questions or if I didn't touch on anything, um, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy maybe doing your own bullet journal. Let me know how it turns out. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll also link everything that I talked about so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.